okay so now we have gone so far here to have the crappie initialized but obviously we need to do a lot more than just this so let us go to our component and very quickly i'm going to add some custom markup uh, so that you know we have the functionality for ourselves so i'll add div button um okay this should trigger a model model pop-up or you know a div which is uh you know, going to hold the browse button and everything so for now we will call it as model pop-up so although it will not look like um i don't have the css for that so let's keep it as v if model is visible okay um we will call it um f a upload i think that's one class or rather camera okay and we'll call it upload image fine so this variable we need to declare here and for now let's make it true what is going to happen we have this button okay and then below this button we have a div which is model and okay um this button should not be v if rather v on click equals true okay um yeah so basically we want to make that model visible when the button is clicked here we will you know uh, show the content once you know it is visible or it is true so in that we will have h4 upload an image v on uh, change so if you remember all the you know events uh, which are pure javascript are available to us in v on so any file field change is basically available to us on v on change so we'll have a function called setup file uploader which is going to handle everything which is related to file upload <clears throat> for now we'll just console dot log one okay and yeah so we need two more buttons as well um so this is fine and this i'll have Uh, for now let's keep it upload okay and have this and we have a reset button as well okay and this will be warning on v click we should have the model visible to false we will have to later on reset a few things as well but for now let's keep it simple um okay what happened upload file is not defined okay i haven't defined the method okay this is done now this is not center aligned i'll quickly add some basic css and then we can take it from there um, basically i'm going to use style with language as a css and add some css markup here so once i am done i will come back all right so this is the css which i have let's see how it renders 
some of the things are center aligned yeah, very basic stuff nothing much you know all these buttons are center aligned and oh we don't need the submit button so let's quickly get rid of that um yeah so that's the footer done okay now if you see i click here go to my documents i have one image that's the only image i have right now so yeah i'm getting this console one which is basically here so we can actually now look at how to upload the file or rather get the information uh, from croppy so that we can send it to the server right so first things first in here i'll pass the event okay and to do that do i need to make a change anywhere no so i'll just get the event here directly okay and so yeah let's see i'll say let files equals e dot target files or e dot data transfer files if we don't get a files length which means there is no file we simply return or else we call another method in our view in component which is this create message right now we'll need to create that mess uh, method as well so we are going to pass the i mean get the file here and what we do in here is where image equals new image where reader is equal to new file reader and then i'll need the vm later on so i'll keep that reader dot on load and here i'll say vm dot image is equal to e dot target dot result okay this is where you know we are changing our image object or uh, which is right now a string to uh, this is basically a um, binary or uh, base 64 data and i'll do dollar emit okay uh, we'll emit an event which is image uploaded and we can send this okay so obviously we need to handle this so copy go to mounted and we'll write the event handler here on which is in our case so on this what i'm gonna do is function image data okay this dot image equals image data this dot croppy dot destroy we need to remove the old instance and then we need to set up the crop instance again okay there is a, there is a reason because you know if we don't do that we will get two crop instances i'll show you uh, later on uh, so first see if everything is working choose the image and nothing happened all right what is the problem we have um what do we have here so let files equals e dot target files which is correct or data transfer files if not then we return length yes uh, otherwise we do this create image we send the first of the array in files okay that's fine 
so first of all are we coming here let us quickly debug here and let's see what is happening so uh, um, upload and this is coming as one file create image create image is something no not this one set file set up file uploader right so we on change hmm i think on change is correct yeah actually it's correct uh, it needs to create that instance so that's fine uh, on button i will have to call this otherwise it was correct so let me refresh again let's see if i'm getting file yes i do so i'm getting the file then i have a variable image which is image then i have reader which is file r e a d e r yes vm is this reader dot on load e where image target result dollar image dollar emit i am image uploaded is this correct okay um let me see um oh yeah i think i missed one step which is reader dot read as data url file i think this is missing this was missing and i think now that should work yes that is working so let's get rid of the console so yeah uh let me show you again so we choose file i'll do this now i have the thing in place i can zoom in zoom out and now we need to hit the upload button and let's see in our upload v on click of where is that button on click of upload file right we have this result part which i'm taking from here where is it um let us see somewhere yeah this so you know it gives me the blob and everything so i'll show you the code uh, what we will do is this dot copy okay and the result will pass type as canvas size i will take my viewport okay we had configured our viewport here okay so that's what i want and then i get my response okay so this response is here and what i will then do is first let us console whether we are getting the data or not so browse we select the image we do something to it and yes this is our binary data or the base 64 data okay so we need to handle this on the server side which we are going to do in our next video